Seabees assigned to Naval Mobile Construction Battalion 15 trained on one of the military's newest urban warfare facilities aboard Camp Shelby, Mississippi. Basically what the point of this is is to teach them how to uh, recover from a, a traumatic event, multiple trucks being um, blown up, whatnot, where they have to take a hardened structure, um, get themselves off the X, get into a building in a mount facility, such as this if they're in a city and whatnot, and be able to call in for reinforcements to come help them out. The new state-of-the-art facility contains hundreds of cameras to record students' progress. You can always do a good debrief like we were in the past, but now we have the advantage to play these back for them and show them the mistakes that they've made and different options that they could have took at that moment in time. Recording the training provides students with a valuable tool to help them improve. With this, you get in the heat of the moment and you're not really, you, you can't remember everything you do because your adrenaline's rushing and everything. If you can go back and watch it on video, you can make changes, you can see what you did wrong and fix it or improve it or keep doing what you're doing if it's the right thing you're doing. Instructors can also control lights, sounds, and even introduce odors to immerse students into their environment. Uh, this training was, it was a great training. It's good learning. It's uh, good to know in case something does happen while we're out on the road and we do need to tactically take a building. We can do it safely, securely, and in efficient time. CBs assigned to NNCB 15 are currently mobilized in support of Operation Enduring Freedom and are preparing to deploy. Reporting from Camp Shelby, Mississippi, this is Petty Officer 2nd Class Daniel Garris.